I'm cooking steak. Yeah, pan fried steak. As you see in the background, I've got the potatoes going. Sweet potato and regular potato. I'm obviously not keeping an eye on him, but whatever. Uh, 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 what? Oh yeah, I'll just get the steak and, you know, put oil, rub it up in garlic or whatever you have on it. Awesome, so, garlic. Steak. And, I'm missing something. Oh no, herbs, there they are. I'm not going to slam this on the bench. But editing will make it look like I have. Herbs. So, so. Thank God I have this now. Shopping board. That way it, it don't get dirty. So, mate, what you do? Oh, wait, no, I'm going to take. Okay. Yeah, um, what I do first is this. Garlic. Well, it's paste. I wish it was proper cloves of garlic, but you can't get everything. So, this is going to be weird, but okay, whatever. Let's just cover the chopping board in this. That looks really unappetizing. It looks like vomit. So, um, this steak recipe is a favourite of mine. Uh, you rub it in vomit. This is what happens if you taste garlic from the 32 cloves of garlic. And, that, and that's what you end up with. But back on track. Ow. That didn't even hit me. Rip it open. You know. I, I'll point out at this point, viewers, I have no absolutely no f idea what I'm doing. But that's what cooking's all about. No clue half the time, most of the time. Well, for me, most of the time. Anyway. More work for me. <laughs> Because Jesso has his potty mouth again. So this can get out, okay? So, what am I doing with this? Yeah, oh yeah, that's right. I, I'm, I think I'm going to have to spread it now. So I can get a nice even, like, spread on all the steaks. Now, do not get confused here. I'm not... Painting the chopping board, for those of you who, for some bizarre reason, would tune in late. It's not a TV show, it's a YouTube video. I'm spreading this around the chopping board. Oh, it looks really, um, this looks really disgusting now. It just looks like that someone's vomited over the chopping board. Yeah, it's the wrong colour for that. Oh, yeah, and you'd know, you would know. Yes. Look more like eight, sort of. Porridge. Fine. Well, let's just leave it at that. Yes, it's porridge, as Tim just said. So, what we want to do on oh, crap. Wouldn't you cook meat on a grill? Hmm? No, you fry steak. What is it? Again, at this point, I'm putting the herbs on there. I'm not sure if this is the correct way to do it, but we'll soon find out. If need be, I'll put more herbs on there after. But I'll get a nice, even layer of herbs on this chopping board. This is my canvas now, this chopping board, people. See, I told you we're cooking here, and I just gave, I just covered Tim in herbs. Uh, open wide, Tim. So, what do we do here, you ask? You sear. You don't sear, you... you you, you rub it up and cover it in garlic, and now I've got to find a place to put it. Um, we'll just leave it on the bench for now. You said it's such a good idea. Yeah, it's fine. It's only raw steak. If you wanted, you could take a bite out of this right now. Yeah. That's why I said if you wanted. <laughs> uh, get them nice and moist. Cover them in crap, garlic and <coughs> onion, not onion, herbs and whatnot, various other things. This is the annoying thing that is garlic paste. It's 
it's kind of hard to get a very even spread around it. I'm not to use the knife even. Couldn't you use a, a brush and brush it onto the steak and not the other way around? Well, I could, but seeing as I've already done it like this now, oh, that's a bit too much. Probably just even that out a bit. <laughs> Why didn't I just do this from the start? Seriously. Because you're a noob. Oh, that's going to be overpowering. All right, whatever. Last one. Let's let's just spread this out a bit more. No, no, get it out. Mm. Spread it out. <laughs> Pete's going to have a lot of fun cleaning this thing. Mm. It's goes in the dishwasher, like right, it, true. the other thing. Last one. Boom! You can see your arms, but not your head. <laughs> yes, Tim's majestic camera work at it again. Mm. Get in there. At least it's not shaking. Push the steak into the garlic. At least it's not shaking too badly. Push the steak into the garlic and get it in there. I'm destroying the steak. <laughs> Mm. Oh my god, I almost put a hole through this steak. What my bad. Whatever. You can see how much Tim cares. Not at all. I was going to say not that much, but okay. talk yourself down further, you can. Mm. Alright, that's good enough. You want to eat that? No. Good, more for me. No. <laughs> Not even close. Alright, where's the oil? Where do you think it is? Oil? Oil will kill you if you don't show me what well, you are. Well, oil be damned. Extra virgin. Something what you shouldn't be if you're going to give your lucky lady some steak, which I'm not, for the record. <coughs> Oh. Alright, which hob would you recommend, Tim? Mm. Probably the one you have the vegetables on. Oh, sake, I can't now, can I? Does it, this one don't work, does it? Neither does that or that. Uh, which ones work? The, basically the one you've got the vegetables on. This, Fancy that! See, this one sort of works. That doesn't really need it. It sort of works. Well, yeah. what I can do is get a good slow cook on that and then switch it, so turn it on for me. How about you swap this to that one? Alright, good. Turn it on. I can just switch it around quickly, I can. Down a bit. I've got to get it to light. Yeah, that one didn't work. I'll do that one. Yeah, it's the safety light on it. That's the problem. Oh, God. Oh, that's heavy. I'm not even checking them. Um. So what do you mean that kind of works? It cooks it slower, basically. Yeah. Whatever, good enough. Well, I'm not going to put onion with this, people. Because you don't want garlic and onion. That would be like overpowering to all that. So, in goes the steak. One. By. Ow. One. I'll order that in a minute. <laughs> so, the steaks are in. My hands are covered in crap, but at least it's not raw chicken. Shouldn't you wash your hands first? It's fine. It's not raw chicken, is it? Mm. Alright, this may not fit, but they're gonna, go, they're gonna shrink off see as they cook, so that's good. Mm. Good to see it on that going. Yeah, because for the mums you can just sort of leave it there until it starts smoking. <laughs> well, your mum likes it well done. Yes. Well, I'm not a professional cook, so I'm sorry, but I can't cater to everyone's temperature needs. Mm. Uh, well, I'll be damned. These are cooked. <laughs> Probably a little bit overdone. <coughs> Move. Back to my ways of chucking things around. Turn it off. <laughs> so the potatoes are done quicker than I'd imagine. And back to your way of swearing. Hmm? Back to your old way of swearing. When? What are you about? Swan several times already. Right. Give me an example of what I said. No, no, I can't do that. Means I have to leave the thing. Damn, you wouldn't. 
Right. Then that they're daft. Do <coughs> you not know why suddenly started coughing then? And you haven't been near a smoker or have been smoking cigarettes lately. I really hope these old potatoes are cooked. I really didn't test them. Oh, I'm an idiot. Yeah. If that is the case. And the steak stone to cook. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, they're cooked. <laughs> yeah. Mm, enough with your pot potty mouth already. Move. <laughs> Pushing you out of the way. There's the matchup. Got to keep on them. Alright, now when you, when you can't see, you can see that they're actually showing the camera. Probably should use line gel. <laughs> I'm rushing around. Let me just slow the paint down. No, uh, not that. I can crap up too much. Damn it, whatever. I don't care. I, I, didn't, I wasn't referring to what I said. You just sent them out. But... It's easy to just cut out the scene. Huh? Cut out the scene where you shit. No, don't cut out that scene. Here it is. Come on, Matt. So I try and avoid the mashed potatoes because I can't do it. Bro, you don't know, yeah, you know, you mashed for me. Mash, sit in there, mash. This looks like absolute crap. It just looks like a pile of orange and chocolate. It looks like vomit, basically. <laughs> like, because again, it's the wrong colour for vomit. It's too bright a colour. I just mean that metaphorically. Not literally. It looks like it tastes good though, because everyone loves a bit of sweet potato. Okay. Yeah, except you, but you don't like anything. We can't say, we can't say what you like, other than like cheese and dairy, but it's like, Tim, drink this, this is what you want. <laughs> don't freeze it. Huh? Don't want to break it. Damn, I didn't say milk when I slammed it down to the ground. Whatever. Potatoes. I'm not gonna do it with the frying pan when it's on the hot. <laughs> Stay the hot crap. It's like lands of steak just land around the room. You know, it would get boiling oil on your, your sh socks. Ugh! Get in the pan. Get messed up. Don't be solid anymore. I'll be solid but not liquid. Like halfway between solid and liquid. I think the term's mass. Oh. Yeah, I'm walking in. Let's see. Come on, get in there. You mash potatoes. You mash like so. All the, all the other potatoes, I see you. You're going down the hole and down the high, but you're not going to lie because I'm going to. Murder every single one of you in your family. Let the record state I'm talking about potatoes right now, not people. The same as that camera is destroying my face. Here it is. Sorry, girls, but no, no cross shots for you today. If any girls watch these videos, I hope. I think 85% of my, uh, around 80 something percent of my YouTube audience in the life of my account are males. Just like every single strip club in King's Cross. And those are gay males. Don't you think it's a bit weird that YouTube shows you, like, how much of your audience is of male and how, how much is female? It's like a stalker thing, basically. Mm. Kind of. Like, in the loosest sense. Like, stalking for beginners or something like that. To at least find out whether they're male or female would get a good start. Let the record state, I'm not actually um, talking up stalking. Don't do it, it's bad.
Unless, of course, you've got a note from your federal prison. From federal prison. I know that camera's not showing my face. I'm going to tell by the angle of it. Mm. That's what she said. Come on. I think I've come to the conclusion these potatoes are stubborn and these steaks are going along nicely. Get in there. Come right, on. <laughs> okay, that may have been... Oh, no, no. That looks right now. It's beginning to look more and more like vomit. I want it orange. That's what I'm doing. Yes, it's good. Orange are the sweet potatoes. Coming together nicely. Oh, come on. Yeah. It's got a whisk or something, so I could puree it. Yes, we do. You do? Alright, I've got time. Yes, yes, yes. Don't. You can, you can always get the night electric one. Isn't there meant to be a candle for this? Yeah, it's got to be new somewhere. Do you want the electric one instead? Alright. Um, I'll do a quick snack on it, let's see how it goes. Yeah. Where is it? There's nothing there. Hang on, I don't know, it's fine. I just found a better way. This one will do. Yeah. I should see now. It's meant for eggs, I think. <laughs> Let's just see. Crash down the potatoes which aren't properly on the potato. Uh, can put the lid on this. Not sure there, can you just flip like not flip each date but just check underneath each one. A bit hard to do when any, but I'll try. Because I'm right handed. I'm right handed, unlike Chester. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to need the electric whip. Oh, she got that one. Whoa. Yeah, Oh, we're cooking quickly. They are cooking quickly, they are. Show the camera. Yeah, I'm trying to get this out of the camera for me. Whoa, that's fucking quick, mate. Oh, now on that side, it's fucking. It's moving along. When I'm cooking on a high temperature, oh, come on. Alright, oh, how does this work? Well, you've got to plug in the whisks in first. Push until it. Uh -oh. With the other one. Are these clean? Yeah, they would be. Yeah, they don't look that clean. They do, just... No, I'm not using a dirty whisk then. It's been in the cupboard. Yes, that's my whole point. It's been in the cupboard for how long? Yeah, if they're not clean, then put in the dishwasher then. Right, uh, it's fine. I'll, I'll just match it, it's fine. Captain Winch like the British. Oh, I'm sorry. British. It's almost as if I don't want everyone in this family but you, because you're the only one not eating it. It's a cat salmonella. Alright, whilst those are cooking it all nicely, I'm going to whack the heat back up. This worked not enough last time. I'm just going to start cooking the carrots and peas. Uh, where's another saucepan? Oh, dude. Yeah, that's the one with holes in it. Because it's meant to go with the one below it. Oh, there it is. I don't need the lid. I mean lazy people, sue me, go ahead. Actually, actually someone actually tries to. I mean, come on, I mean, seriously, like, uh, wait. 
Boil the kettle. When you boil the kettle, you need more water, don't you? Yeah, the water will just boil with it when you put no, the heat on. Don't do it that way. A little strange. Oh, that smells really nice! Oh, wow, I'm really proud of this, people. <laughs> it smells incredibly delicious. Mm. If only it was possible to have a sense of smell through, like, cameras. Yeah, and a mute button as well. Why? Because you can't really stinky food. Huh? You can't really stinky food. What? You can have really stinky foods. What's that called with mute? A mute of the smell function. Okay. After you allow keyboard playing, making you going a bit deaf. Sounds you, Grandpa. <laughs> Inside joke. For those of you viewers who don't know, Tim's constant belly aching and groaning and complaining oh, makes him seem like he's an 80 year old man at times. Whoa. Right, these are rare right now, but your mum doesn't like it rare, does she? Yeah. I think these are better than rare, actually. Medium, maybe? I'm not looking at the touch though. It's quite a lot. Because the trick is, yeah. like this. So, that. Yeah. Rare. Mid rare. Medium. And. Well done. Mm. So if it's like soft like that, mm. then hard like that. Mm. Oh, I have to touch them. I see people touch them all the time, but I never know if it's safe or not because it looks like it's really hot. Mm. I'm going in. Uh, this is, I'm looking. I want to look for something like this. Yeah, and if he burns his fingers, you'll see it first. I was like scared to go in. Oh, it's not hot at all. Let me feel that again. Oh, that's done. That feels done. This one's like really soft. Mm. Oh, one's rare, one's medium. This is rare, definitely. That one's rare. I don't want the rare one. Oh, I could leave it in a bit longer. Mm. You know what? This one's really rare. What the hell? It's like incredible. It's like. I don't get it. It's like. Done with this video. Almost one season around. That's because it's what I'm putting on. I'm putting the blood onto it. My bad. You just double check. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> Alright, I thought I was doing what I meant to be doing, but apparently this is blood. <laughs> Late chat genius. No, no, no. I, I think that's done, but that's like really rare. Because these are all done as well, definitely. <laughs> I 
Yeah. It's done unevenly, it's like... <laughs> Could be because of the big size of the soap in the small cooker underneath it, maybe. Alright then. They're done, it's just they're all at different temperatures, whatever, it's good enough. I'll just leave them there on the low heat for now, as I cook these vegetables. Hey, when you get the plates out. Yeah, so, I'm putting the peas in and then I think I'll end the video once these are all in. Whoa. I'm usually awful with these quantities, but yeah, here it goes. That's enough. That's enough. And just the same through tradition of putting too much peas in. So, steaks are just finishing off cooking. I'll get them out once the video ends. Uh, yeah, other than that, people, um, this is your number one guide on how to cook steak, kind of, ish, but they all look like different. Here's your number one guide on how to cook steak in the set, four different steak in the same pan to all different temperatures. It's a skill, I think, I'm not a chef, anyone who's a chef comment back and tell me that I suck. But, other than that, you lot have an awesome day and guess who's 21 now, turned 21 yesterday, so yeah, 21 now, feeling good about it. Uh, yeah. That's episode 8 of Heaven's Kitchen wrapped up. It's your boy Chester Brown saying peace out and start cooking because who knows, eventually you'll be as hopeless as I am. Later.